Since they got to Berlin, Maxim Kornikov and Masha Myers have had a single goal, bringing back to life Echo of Moscow, the famous radio station the Kremlin banned from the airwaves because of its honest reporting on the war in Ukraine. But like many independent journalists, they fled Russia on a Schengen visa, which doesn't give them the right to work here. So they've been waiting for a solution for three months. We can't do even bank account for ourselves. We, we can't do uh, a uh, company because we have no opportunity to do it uh, and that's why it is very very slow uh, but we hope that when we will get to these visas it would be much easier to stop there are some 70 russian journalists in exile in germany who should in the coming days receive long-term visas the German government is also going to spend three and a half million euros helping Russian journalists and opposition figures in exile over the next year. Three months after the start of the war, it's a satisfactory solution, if slow in coming, according to the Euro MP Sergei Lagodinsky. All these people represent the face of a better, more democratic Russia. And it's a Russia we want to contribute to build for the future. Journalists and dissidents who are still in Russia or other countries will be able to ask for a humanitarian visa to come to Germany. But unlike refugees from Ukraine, they will be considered on a case-by-case -case basis, a distinction Amnesty International thinks is unfair. We are talking about people with whom members of our government have had regular contact in the past. So I don't understand why we can't find a global solution for a group of people that's not that big. Maxim Kornikov and Masha Meyer still hope the government's plan will help other Russian journalists come to Berlin to strengthen their team, because Echo of Moscow will be back, streaming on the internet by summer's end.